Hi, I'm Zafar Mohamed Gauss and I have the privilege to chair the Locate Board, which is the Locate Conference Australia Board. And Bradley, uh, maybe introduce yourself, but also you're one of the conveners here? Yes, I'm Bradley Slate, the Surveyor General of South Australia. I'm the convener and program chair for Locate. Wonderful. One of the things we wanted to cover with you is the geospatial and space industries. Uh, you're obviously uh, welcome to Australia in Space TV. Uh, so far, maybe I'll start with you. Is uh, There's just been a recently roadmap uh, report uh, released as well in terms of the spatial and space industries. Has that been a key focus for you uh, for this particular conference? Yes, the, the theme of the conference is about land, seas and stars, which is bringing the land, waters and space together. And the key important uh, components of the space and spatial roadmap, and also the opportunity to be on the steering committee of that particular piece of work, was to identify the collaborative opportunities and the integration of these two sectors. The roadmap has brought a lot of recipes. The conference provides the opportunity to talk about those actionable points as a community of space and spatial how we are going to address it probably next year we might have some answers and Bradley uh, space is a big uh, sort of industry for South Australia as well how many touch points do you see uh, in your day-to-day -day role uh, as Secretary General uh, as Surveyor General, we, 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 we deal with uh, positioning, accurate positioning in, in yeah. surveying, and that, that's the connection between the land and, and positioning, uh, accurate positioning from space. Um, so we have a number of touch points. The geospatial industry has Earth observations as a touch point. Um, C, hydro has the touch point, so we're also focusing on the, the industry intersections between the land, sea and, and the stars at, at this conference as part of the program. Any key takeaways for you for that, uh, either from a sort of the, a, a government side or just from an industry perspective, uh, what, what are some of the key takeaways for you? Uh, the key takeaways are around the, the reliance on, on the space industry for, for our, our industry and, and the crossover between the two. Um, it's also about the uh, um, the sovereign capability of, of Australian space agency and, and what that can bring to, to our geospatial sector. Do you think the two sectors appreciate each other enough or have an, enough awareness or understanding of each other or do you think there's some room to do? There, there's some room to move there I think but um, there certainly is a good understanding as a foundation absolutely. Yeah. Great. Uh, so far maybe the same question to you is the awareness between the two and, uh, or are they coming closer together and maybe that's why uh, the program is starting yep. to mix? So, so the geospatial industry and space are natural collaborators. They are close cousins, I would say. Uh, in fact, uh, geospatial community is more matured uh, in terms of its existence and practice, given the space agency was started recently, five years, but they have been coming up with great policies and programs. So the experience of the geospatial community, that is the uh, industry, government, uh, private sector, and uh, academia, that experience can help uh, grow the space industry. But we have been always having this dialogue and, and we are the users of space from the geospatial side. But our conferences such like this provide great opportunity. Bradley, the Surveyor General, mentioned about uh, the sovereign capabilities, but it's also opportunities our private sector industries to take advantage of these investments into space assets and bring a thriving marketplace for local companies to produce application on these space investments. You've had uh, Enrico Palermo, the head of the Australian Space Agency, uh, speaking. I'm assuming that is the first time the ASA has presented uh, to your cohort. But Bradley, do you have much to do with the ASA uh, the, there in Lot 14 from a state government, federal government aspect? Do, is there collaboration there? Not my department specifically, but yes, the Department of Premier and Cabinet do have quite a bit to do with ASA. Um, and that's evolving as, as, the, as that agency matures as well. Um, I might take the opportunity, I gave you a, a uh, promotion earlier with the Secretary General, with the Surveyor General. Um, maybe introduce us to your particular role at the State Government and uh, yeah, as a Surveyor General, uh, what that actually involves. Yeah, well, pr primarily it's, it's the, uh, the, the, the regulation of boundary surveying in the state. I also deal with the geographical naming of places in the state, uh, road opening and closing, the addressing system, So, that, but predominantly it's around the regulation of boundary surveying. So basically surveying activities across South, South Australia, uh, how does that sit nationally? Any, any sort of trends that you're observing nationally in, in this regard? 
Yeah, I also sit on the, the Inter uh, Governmental Committee on Surveying and Mapping, which has representatives from, from each jurisdiction. Um, and we, we are working towards a harmonised, federated approach on that. It's difficult to bring all seven together at the, with the same sort of thinking, but we, we're slowly getting there. What, where are some of the key gaps? Uh, we talk to a lot of industry sectors and they're all trying to do the same thing, but it is a challenge. Uh, is it things like language, standardisation of regulation? Is, is there still a lot of gap there? Well, there's not so much gap in the regulation because that's, that's dealt with at a jurisdictional level. Um, the same concepts uh, are, are across every jurisdiction in surveying. There is a different terminology for certain things. Uh, the systems are the big issue. Um, the interoperability between the systems themselves, um, Just we're working through that at, at a cadaster level, which is the, the land boundary parcel level. Um, so yeah, we're working towards that as a harmonised approach. Nice. And uh, for maybe uh, to finish off also, the Geospatial Council of Australia, you've had some developments uh, in recent times as well. It's a new body uh, in its own right. Is this the first conference under the new banner? Exactly, so it was in fact launched here. Um, again, uh, I'm the past president of the Surveying and Spatial Sciences Institute, the previous entity, and uh, there was a roadmap uh, called 2020-26 Agenda, which called for action to integrate the professional body, the SI and the industry body, Space Industry Business Association together. I'm glad that now this has happened and launched here, and uh, GCA's banner was launched here, and, and hopefully this integration of both profession and the business community brings more opportunity to take advantage of these space investments going forward. And what does the new body look like? Has it expanded its membership base with the two coming together? Has it got a new potential focus or strategy over the next period? Yes, already a roadmap is being developed uh, in order to cater to the needs of the business and professional community. And also from uh, the government, it is one voice that they would like to see. And that's what has happened. And, and, and definitely we will see more investment coming from private sector companies in this integration. Uh, but also, naturally, the membership of individuals will grow as well. That's what we envisage. The modern restructure of GCA has consolidated the commissions, uh, which were uh, previously having very niche uh, streams. Now they have been consolidated to answer the you know, market demands from a professional perspective. And the outlook for 2023-2024, any call to action or when the next conference might be? Yeah, the next conference will be announced at the closing and we envisage it will be in, uh, it will be in Sydney uh, during May and uh, that announcement will be made at the closing. Beautiful. Well, we won't be into air, but you heard it here first on Australia and Space TV. Uh, Bradley uh, and Safir, thank you very much for joining us uh, today. Best of success for the remaining of the conference, uh, and naturally we'll have the links in our show notes. But thank you very much for joining us on Australia and Space TV. Thanks for having us. Wonderful, thank you, Chris.